everyone welcome to the first session on finite element analysis here i am going to discuss some introductory concepts about what is finite element analysis what are the types of analysis that can be done what are the advantages disadvantages and why do we still prefer using fea although there are certain disadvantages now i must mention that though i am starting with the lectures now i have already recorded the answers portion of these lectures so the numericals are already solved and they are uploaded in answers form you can refer these numericals that i'm going to solve in the theory class and you can also compare it with the solution of answers which i have already pre-shot and kept it ready on this channel so let's start without further ado what is FEA? FEA or FEM as it is also known as uh, is a numerical method to solve some differential equations of mathematics. Engineering problems can be analyzed by the differential equations for the different processes. For example, there is a heat transfer through a wall taking place. So you can have a particular differential equation like d square theta by dx square minus m square theta is equal to zero. So this is a differential equation. Now this can be solved by using HT method, heat transfer. Also you can use FEA method for solving the numerical. So in these sessions I am going to specifically talk about them. Now for solving these, you can look here, I have mentioned that we are going to use certain suitable boundary conditions. Now when I say boundary conditions, you can just refer back to heat transfer through a wall you will understand that at one end of the wall you may have the temperature as 600 degrees celsius and this transmitting the heat to the environment for example let me say the environment temperature is 20 degrees celsius so in that case the heat flow takes place from higher temperature to lower temperature so i can apply two boundary conditions here that is temperature at one end is 600 and the temperature at the other end is 20 degrees Celsius. So this is known as boundary condition which is at the two boundaries. However, problem arises when the differential equation becomes complex or the domain over which they are to be solved is complex. So in that case, you may not be able to use your heat transfer method or you may not be able to solve directly by using mathematical differential equations. In that case, numerical method becomes very handy and that is why the use of FEA or FEM. FEM stands for finite element method. Now, I would like to just add a small thing before going to the next slide. That is, what is FEA? If you understand the term FEA, it is finite element analysis which means you are doing analysis of a particular body when you divide it into finite number of elements, which means you are going to divide it into a mesh. If you have already gone through the videos of ANSYS, you will completely understand what is mesh, what is meshing. Uh, still, I am going to discuss a little further. So that is the basic meaning of the term FEA or FEM. Uh, there are many applications of FEA. Technically, all fields are covered in FEA analysis. I am going to only name a few here. Uh, the first one being structural analysis, wherein you can analyze civil structures like buildings, bridges, or say mechanical structures like machines or components of various parts. You can have vibrational analysis, which means there is a body which is subjected to some kind of vibration. A civil example could be a building which is subjected to earthquake. Or a mechanical example could be a motor running and the table on which it is fixed that is vibrating. Or maybe a particular machine has a moving part or a motor which is working in it. So in that case, the body will be subjected to some amount of vibration. So vibrational analysis is also something which can be done in FEA. Next comes thermal analysis. Very important, very much required in most of the applications because everything is subjected to change of temperature so thermal analysis in that case becomes very important there is steady state heat transfer which is very important for example heat transfer subject when you have studied heat transfer through fins or heat exchangers or you can have furnaces or you can have simple examples like refrigerator wherein there is an insulating material there are two other materials which are on the both sides of insulation which is you know, like the refrigerator body or your ambience. So you can just calculate the heat transfer through various bodies. 
Next comes fluid analysis. Fluid is everywhere. So it is very much essential to do fluid analysis. For example, flow through pipes or you can have effect of ambience on a particular building. It is called as fluid surface interaction. So fluid analysis is very important and there are two types of options possible in FEA. They are called as modules actually. First one is ANSYS fluid and the other one is CFX. So these are some options which can be used. Next comes electrical circuit analysis, which means electrical analysis can also be done on FEA software. Non-linear analysis, all the analysis that we are going to do, most of the analysis is non-linear actually, but when we solve, we say it is linear, we assume it is linear and we calculate because the calculation becomes easier. But non-linear analysis can also be done in FEA. Apart from this, there are many other analysis which can be done. For example, nuclear engineering analysis can be done or crash analysis is something which can be done, fatigue analysis can be done. Buckling analysis can be done. There are n number of analysis which can be done on FEA. Everything around you can be analyzed on the software and also by using the numerical calculations. So this has very vast use and definitely there will be lots of advantages. First one is it helps in solving and analyzing problems with complex geometry, irregular shaped objects composed of different materials very easily. When you are doing analysis manually or even it could be an analysis from the subject, when you use a theoretical method for calculation, if you have an irregular geometry or if you have complex geometry, it becomes very difficult. Also, when we analyze in particular subjects, we generally assume that the material is going to be homogeneous, isotropic, this is something which we assume, which means the value of E, K and G. Young's modulus, bulk modulus, modulus of rigidity and Poisson's ratio mu, we assume it is constant for every direction, which may not be so. So when you use a software or you use numerical analysis, it becomes much better and easier to solve. If it generally greatly helps a design engineer in optimizing performance before actual fabrication, thereby reducing the cost of redesign to a great extent. Now, when I talk about this advantage, I'm basically talking about the software, wherein you can design, you can analyze, and you can find out if my object is perfect for the required boundary conditions or the required uh, conditions it is going to get subjected to. Once you realize that, yes, it is in a proper working mode, you can go for manufacturing of it. If you watch a few decades earlier, FAA came up around 20 to 30 years earlier. Before that, the process was to manufacture, test the material. If the material doesn't, you know, pass the test or if it is not able to give proper results, discard it, again manufacture and go for testing. So this used to be a repetitive process. Also, the amount of material that you waste and the manual labor is going to be very high. So this would increase the cost of the product. Now, if you observe with the recent times and with the use of these softwares, any product, for example, a chair on which you're sitting currently can be modeled on FEA software. You can very simply analyze it and you can check if a person of a particular amount of weight sits on it. Is the chair going to sustain? You know, you can just make a rough calculation by using some theoretical methods and estimate what could be the value. You can design your chair and when you model and analyze on the software, you will find whether the chair is going to be suitable or not or what could be the maximum amount of load it can take so this is just a simple example most simple example which i can give it to you but this can go up to a lot of examples like the amount of load that airplane body can take up also you can calculate what could be the design of an airplane body uh, when it is moving against a particular wind velocity so these are higher level examples so i'm just giving you an idea as to what difference in level you can obtain of results you know when you are doing with an FEA software. Now advanced softwares are now available to solve the problems of complex nature in minimum time which means in very small amount of time with a good processor with a good working machine you can get the results very fast. Enhanced customer satisfaction can be ensured 
by using the finite element analysis. This is very much self-explanatory and this is something which you also face these days when you have simple mobile bodies which are sleek, which are beautiful in design, you have beautiful covers, you have beautiful scratch guards over it which helps you sustain you know a lot of shock or sudden loading on it so these are very very simple examples but very much important when it comes to customer satisfaction but with every advantage there is bound to be some disadvantages so the first one is fa is an approximate method hence the results are not very accurate you will find results which are precisely correct but they are not exactly the same as that of uh, you know methods by exact solutions so this becomes a rough calculation which you get a rough estimate so it is not very rough i would say i mean it is not very wrong it is very close to exact solution but not exactly equal the results greatly depend upon the experience and judgment of the designer this is very true when you obtain certain values on the software uh, you have to be quite experienced and your judgment has to be very sharp. Only then you would be able to decide if the values are correct and you can go forth in designing or manufacturing of your chairs, your aeroplane bodies, jet propeller, any, any object that you see around you. It is going to be based on the judgment of the person who is designing it. A powerful computer and reliable software is a must for FEA. This is something which is very important and yes, it definitely requires a lot of investment. This increases the capital cost. Certain effects such as buckling, large deflections, material and other types of non-linearities are not automatically included. This is just a disadvantage of the software, I would say. Uh, maybe with time and with efforts, you will definitely find that these results are also getting added and new modules will come up and you'll find better results. So, though there are disadvantages, there are definitely a lot of advantages. It's a lot of time saving, cost saving, effort saving. So, FEA on a software is something which is very useful and it is very much prevalent around the world. So, with this, I end the session. This was a very introductory lecture. From the next session onwards, I'll just start with some more basics which you need to know. So, see you in the next session. Thank you.